and welcome to my channel. This is Eleni and today I'm going to show you how I used face stamps as a quick head start to help me create these mermaids. I used the two face stamps in the bottom for the mermaids on the right, so now I'm going to use the third one for today's mermaid. I'm not using a stamping block because there is a lot of mixed media pages below this page so it is not flat, therefore I prefer using my fingers to press it down for a better impression. I'm confident drawing faces, so many times I just start using a marker, but as I'm still practicing at drawing bodies, I always start with a pencil so that I can erase what I don't like. I'm going to use art supplies like acrylics, pastels, colored pencils, permanent black markers, paint pens, mermaid markers and of course a stamp set with faces. All the supplies except one white fine tip Posca marker are by Jane Davenport and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave it in the comments below and I will answer it as well as I can. I'm thinning out to the acrylics by using matte medium to make them a little transparent. The paints I'm using are free bottles that are called Matchmaker Set and it's a face base in the big bottle and the two smaller bottles have a darker and a lighter color and by mixing these three you can create a lot of skin colors and shadings. These are the mermaid markers that are brush markers pre-filled with vivid water-soluble inks like watercolors and sometimes they bleed through the page. So that is what I'm checking here, but as the back side of this page was acrylics there was no bleeding through. I'm going over some areas with green color to make the two pages compatible and then I will continue with red and because the red spot under her cheek bothered me I tried to fix it by making it even worse so you will see me taking out acrylics to cover it up. Thank you. 
I love colored pencils and palette pastels for shading and white paint pens for the highlights. So this is what I'm using here. I also used a darker green to fill in some spots on the stencil here. And this is it! Thank you so much for watching! Hope you liked my process and maybe even learned something! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment under it, but also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified about my new videos, because by doing all that you are helping me draw more attention to my channel and reaching more people. Thank you very much in advance! See you soon, love and kisses.